Welcome to the Story of Liberty. Today is March 23rd, and on this day a newly elected member to the Virginia Assembly named Patrick Henry rose to give his famous oration against the Stamp Act that said every legal document had to have a stamp of the British government on it in order to be official. This is the speech where he said, if this be treason, make the most of it. Thomas Jefferson was there and he heard the splendid speech of Patrick Henry about the abuses that were being imposed upon the American colonies. He said it kindled the flame in his soul and something happened that day to Thomas Jefferson. He said, I have never heard that from any other man before, and it caused a surge in my soul for the cause of liberty. Patrick Henry knew that power corrupts even good men. He said, show me that age and country where the rights and liberties of the people were placed on the sole chance of their rulers being good men without a consequent loss of liberty. Patrick Henry was a Christian and he was enthusiastic about strengthening the Christian church. Well, you may know the story. So as the dawn broke on the year 1775, the nation responded as one body to the ringing words of Patrick Henry's famous speech given on this day, March 23rd, in the Virginia House of Burgess. And here's what he said. There is no longer room for hope. If we wish to be free, we must fight. An appeal to arms and to the God of hosts is all that is left us. They tell me that we are weak, but shall we gather strength by irresolution? We are not weak. Three million people armed in the holy cause of liberty and in such a country are invincible by any force which our enemy can send against us. We shall not fight alone. God presides over the destinies of nations and will raise up friends for us. The battle is not to the strong alone. It is to the vigilant, the active, the brave. Is life so dear, or peace or sweet, as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it, Almighty God. I know not what course others may take, but as for me, Give me liberty or give me death.